and just says Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about building your business on social media do you have any are you trying to build your business on social media selling your course trying to con connect with people on social media and you're basically just wanting to send them your information and see if they're interested right you know you know when the network marketing they talk about go talk to your friends and family and then start talking to strangers and just just sort right sort you gotta the more people you talk to the more chances you are of getting that sale of getting that sign up of getting that person to buy your course to be interested in your course right so you gotta just talk to as many people as you can and you're gonna make it happen right it's all numbers well there's a good way and a better way and a not so good way to do all that right you know I'm not saying I'm actually not saying to do that and I'll tell you why in a second and we're going to talk about how to best use social media to actually grow your business to actually get some sales and get people interested in what you have to offer whether it's a course whether it's a business whether it's a product whether you're trying to sell something get people to join you get people to sign up to your MLM all these things all have the same process to really do it the right way we're going to talk about what's the right way in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you're trying to get some sales you're trying to get people to buy your product you're trying to get them to buy your course you're trying to get them to sign up to your list you're trying to get them to to join your opportunity you're trying to do all that and it's just not working as good as you'd like and even if it is working good you're working so hard you're contacting so many people and you're getting so many people to say no and it's just exhausting right so we're going to talk about how to do that what's the best way to do it and what do I do and how do I respond when I get requests and that kind of stuff and how how you can improve your results with just tiny little tweaks so first of all if you're listening to this in a podcast and make sure you subscribe to the podca podcast and and if you're uh, you might want to go check out the video you want to go to my blog you want to go to YouTube subscribe to YouTube it's everywhere you can see this on LinkedIn on Instagram on Twitter on Facebook on YouTube in my blog make sure you go to jsgagnon.com or in this particular case episode 200 and what is it 211 episode 211 so that means cis211.jsgagnon.com to go check out the blog all right so okay so let's get right to it let me share my screen well actually before we do that before I even share my screen let's talk about the basics so in social media it's basically the same as building a business in real life right just just take a step back think about 100 200 years ago when there was no technology people would actually talk to each other they would actually you know hang out in 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 the town hall at the at the weekend dances at the church right they would they, they would congregate together in physical locations where they would have conversations they would meet people they would they would you know engage right so in the olden days if you want to call it that there was the person that everybody liked how why did somebody like this person why does everybody like that person you know the mayor or the person that you know everybody liked that was at the dance that was at the at the church you know why did people like that person and if you're not sure I bet you know the answer but I can tell you there's you know there's this there's this there's this concept of whenever you enter a room what happens do people want to run away or do we people want to get to you want to have a conversation with you and why is that different right so if you're thinking about the mayor the reason why everybody liked him is because he cared about everybody else 
he would have conversation with people he would ask them hey so when's the due date he would say when are you guys getting married uh, how's the how's the cornfield doing how are your how how's your sick cow right how is your how is your car how is your daughter or your wife how you know he would ask questions about their life because he was interested in knowing you know sure there's you know charlatans and there's the there's the there's this the sleazy salesperson that does that too to 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 pretend to be interested but you know that doesn't last very long right it doesn't last very long because eventually people find out that the person wasn't sincere and they start to disconnect from them and then they start telling everybody else in the town everybody wouldn't know it wouldn't take very long to know that that person was a sleazy salesperson a charlatan and that person would have to leave town because <coughs> everybody knew that they were like that right so that's kind of how it was back in the day it would be going to and in a, you know even today if you have like a, a family barbecue or you have a, a a neighborhood barbecue or you have a ball game where all the parents get together <coughs> sorry you know people have conversations with the people that show interest in them the, the, it's just that that's just human nature so why would you think you need to do on social media for it to work for you it, it's no different why would anybody think that on social media it's different you know people don't see your face people are you're not physically there so maybe it it's some sometimes it feels like it doesn't really matter if we do the wrong thing so we end up doing all these things wrong we end up you know doing these like sending people a bunch of spam you know just think about how it would be doing that you know in those days where people would all know who you are the people would all talk to each other so would you go to the church you know 150 years ago and and just go to every single person in the church and say hey are you looking to make money online or well it wouldn't be online but are you looking to start your own uh, farm and you want to sell pigs or cows or whatever I can help you you know do the build a barn right I can help you uh, um, organize all your all your schedule I can help you with everything are you interested in building a business you know with with your farm how about you generate some income from your farm you're going to start to sell things would you do that would you go to every single person in the church and ask them that and tell them hey here's my flyer here's my card go check it out I've got more information here uh you can in this flyer you can just read it and let me know and give me a phone call whatever right would you do that no of course you wouldn't do that it wouldn't take two or three people in that church before everybody else was like get away from me I don't want to talk to you what so in the difference with social media right is that the next the second person you talk to doesn't know that you talked to that first person and that first person didn't want anything to do with you right so you can go to the second and third and you can repeat the whole process and nobody knows from one person to the next necessarily that you're you know a charlatan except that on social media that's kind of what the platforms do like say you take Facebook for example they will actually you know block you and then the, the platform will start to uh, notice that there's two three four five people blocking you right after you talk to 100 or 200 people that way it won't it won't take long for the platform to to prevent you from being able to message people or or even cancel your account and that kind of stuff right so you, that's why you we talk about I talk about Facebook jail I got some posts on that episodes on that Facebook jail is one example where in Facebook if you try to contact too many people too fast let's say you're trying to message you know 100 people and you send them all the same thing the platform will know that Facebook knows that you just sent the same exact message to 100 people and it knows that that's not normal that's not the the good way of doing things so it'll block you from sending messages you end up in Facebook jail which is basically a it's a term that refers to having features blocked so for example you won't be able to message anybody else for seven days right or maybe even a month and it depends on uh it depends on how many times it's like you know a, a strike right strike one is seven days or 24 hours strike two is seven days strike three is three weeks or a month etc right and that's kind of how the platforms 
try to make sure people don't do things that are you know not good right so now what do you got to do then now we talked about the things you shouldn't be doing right and when we talk about social media how do you reproduce this this process that used to work in back in the day where there was no technology this process that was how people knew that you cared about them well how did they know back in the day that that you were a person that cared about others right well they would see you talking to others because you were in this in this community in this church in the barbecue or in the or in the you know the, the ball game or the event or whatever they would see you interacting with other people and they would see that you're and then and then whenever you came to them and asked them a question they would be more likely to respond and to to react you know in a positive way because they already see that you are a good person they, they see that you're not bugging people they see that you're interested in them right so in in social media that's that's groups right that's groups that's why Facebook is so so much <laughs> working on groups making sure that groups are used a lot and what happens is that you create a group and you know that's one of the things I haven't really done that one I set up a group a while ago and I just I've got a bunch of groups and I just I just send these these episodes in those groups right so I don't really I'm not that guy right now right I'm not saying that that I'm I'm not telling you this is how to do it because I'm the guy I'm telling you because I've seen I see lots of other leaders do that and it works and so here's the first thing so one how do you reproduce the environment you do a group and you get people in the group you get them invited to the group and you start to you know create content you start to have conversations with people and you start to post things that people are interested in right so definitely that's that's a, the basics of it but then the other thing is that whenever you want to reach out to a new person to a new person you don't vomit all over them with all your stuff right you don't just you know I was actually just having a conversation right now with with a friend a friend on Facebook or I don't know I don't even know if I'm connected or not but you know somebody on Facebook who just who commented on one of my posts and he said oh the, you know uh, something about the because I was posting about uh the chatbot stuff that I'm doing uh where you can have your own chatbot on your own website on a blog on your on your wordpress blog or on any other website and I was kind of that post was about that it was kind of explaining what the chatbot was and he asked me questions about the chatbot right so that's great he sent me a message asking me questions about something I did right so that's definitely the first the, a good a start right instead of because I do get lots of other people just sending me a link right they send me a link to some page and they say this is the ground floor opportunity this is awesome you should join that go ahead and go there go check it out and if you're interested just click the link to to register so they tell you all this stuff to to just just go in there and get you know get get in the opportunity get in there get in there and just you know that's that's all they're doing right so they send that to peep to hundreds of people or 20 or 50 I don't know what they do but they're sending just that the links the links I I get lots of that and uh, you know the thing is that I don't I don't go check those out I I don't have time to go check out a whole bunch of things and plus I don't even know who they are I don't know whether it's legitimate or not I don't you know nothing right so this guy here he sent me a message he asked me questions and I thought oh that's nice you know because obviously I'm promoting stuff I I'm promoting things I want people to join my thing I want people to buy my stuff I want people to get on my list I want all that right I'm building a business online that's that's what I do so when somebody sends me a message and asks me a question I like that it makes me feel like okay at least they're they're interested in what I'm doing so I replied to him and I just kind of answered his questions and then when he sends me a link to something that he's promoting <laughs> and I'm like I just replied I just replied back to him I said okay well you know if you're just going to be spamming me then you know whatever I don't remember what I said <clears throat> but the thing is that I just told him I said okay well if I didn't realize you were just going to spam I thought we were going to have a conversation and you know something I don't know thanks for your info or whatever right but then he replied back to me he said 
I'm not spamming you uh you're a business person and I'm just sending you a link of something you might be interested if you're not then no 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 foul right so that's the thing the people that are doing the spamming they don't actually know they are they think they think they're helping they think they're sending us information that we might be interested in and you know what that's what the MLM businesses teach they teach you to go out there and talk to as many people as you can just the most important thing is to get people to to see what you got and they they'll make a decision right but the thing is that people won't won't be interested in looking at what you got if you're not interested in them <laughs> they're not gonna want to look yeah sure you send the message to 100 people you might get one or two people to actually click the link to look at it but wouldn't it be better if out of 100 you you got 90 people actually looking at the link isn't that better why why wouldn't you want that why wouldn't why would you want to send 100 links every single day and get one or two people a day looking at your thing versus sending let's say you send a okay so that's a hundred let's say you do that a hundred links a day right here let's do a little a little something here let me gonna start a I'm gonna start a notepad <clears throat> and I'm gonna we're just gonna do some math here we're just gonna do some math so let me just get that in here and share my screen all right so let's just do the math here say you'd send 100 messages a day right whoops we're not seeing the screen here just a second there there we go send 100 messages a day okay so we send 100 messages a day so that means and and whoops where's my mouse there it is so we get one let's say let's say we get three people checking our link right get three people checking our our link right uh, and out of those three um let's say one so one is interested <clears throat> and you know out of every so out of and and out of every 10 interested interested you get a sale you get a sale a sign up or whatever it is you're trying to do right <clears throat> so that means that in this in this scenario right you're gonna have you're gonna have to send so okay so out of every 10 that means that so what does that mean right so out of three so three people one is interested so let's just say we send a thousand messages so if we send a thousand messages we'll get 30 in uh click link right and out of those 30 there's going to be 10 that are interested and one sign up one sale right so that means you get one sale for every thousand messages you send so say it takes you let's say you're just doing cut and paste right you're doing cut and paste so it takes you I don't know well let's say it takes you 10 seconds 10 seconds to send message right uh, so that means that a thousand messages to get one sale right so a thousand times 10 seconds is 10,000 seconds right so what is that let's do, let's get the calculator out here <clears throat> so let's see a thousand so if I have 10,000 10,000 seconds is 166 minutes that's 2.7 hours all right so that's so equals 2.7 hours yeah not too bad you can spend three hours a day sending messages right at that well actually you won't be able to by the way because Facebook won't let you but if you were to if you, you could send some in Twitter some in Facebook some in LinkedIn some in whatever right so you'd spend three hours a day just sending messages what a, I have a better way I have a better way for you to do that what if instead of just sending messages spam that's called spamming right that's what we call spamming what if instead of sending these thousand messages to get one sale you were to do this let's just do let's just do another should probably have a 
anyways let's say we send 10 messages a day okay so we're sending 10 messages a day and what we're doing is we're getting people that are we're actually checking their profile so we check their profile whether it's on Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn or whatever we look at what they're doing we we take time to look at their page we look at their profile we look at their their content we look we try to figure out what they're interested in we try to find something that they're interested in we have a we send a message that's related to them all right so it takes us longer right it takes us so maybe it takes us I don't know 15 minutes to send one message right so that means <laughs> So that means we're we're spending 150 minutes so 150 minutes calculator <clears throat> so 150 minutes divided by 60 that's two and a half hours okay about the same amount of time so that's uh let's just go back here that's 150 minutes or 2.5 hours all right so two and a half hours about the same amount of time that it takes to send all these other ones right okay so because you're sending messages to people based on their interests you get 10 well let's say let's say there's only nine nine check the link <clears throat> check the link okay so nine people check the link so out of these nine that check the link let's say only five are interested maybe I would say that if you have a good conversation with them and you are interested in what they're doing and you show them interest and you really are right you're probably gonna have more than five interested but let's just say there's five of them and out of the out of the five you get two sales let's say you get two sales out of the five so what does that mean so you have to send how many messages let's say we send a hundred messages not not a thousand but a hundred or maybe we just send even 50 messages let's say 50 that's going to be five five days let's say we do this for five days right <coughs> I don't know if I did the math right but anyways that means that if in 50 messages right in 50 messages we're going to have um uh, 45 is it yeah 45 click link right we're going to have let's say out of the 50 we'll have five out of ten so that means uh 40 is that right no no it's not so it's out of 10 is five so out of 50 is five 25 25 interested right and you get how many sales you get two sales per 10 so that means out of 50 you get 10 sales we get 10 sales right so now we're talking about the amount of time here we said we said 150 minutes let's say we say 15 minutes per message and that means uh we just did that up there 150 minutes well actually we we said 50 messages here right so <coughs> to send 50 messages uh 10 seconds and 10 a thousand oh that's what I did there right I did a thousand messages that's not in a day that's five days okay so this would be five days as well 10 10 a day uh, I see okay okay so 15 message so now what we're saying here is uh okay so this is two and a, two and a half hours for a, a week no 10 seconds for a thousand messages with 10 which is 10 days oh, okay so we should probably do 100 here too just to make it so that'd be 90 whoops let's just do the math so that it's the same right it'd be 50 and we would have uh, 20 sales right <laughs> now this is all just conservative I have no idea whether these numbers are actually correct but it kind of gives you a, a, a good you know perspective of the difference between doing it using spam and doing it using the right you know like I said <laughs> the right so this would be uh actually over here it would be um let's see it would actually be whoops so we said uh we said we said let's say 10 seconds right whoops I'm pressing the wrong key sorry so we said 10 seconds <coughs> per message 
so that means that means it would be uh, 10 times 100 so it's a thousand a thousand seconds right so that is what what is that a thousand divided by 60 that's 1.6 minutes no that doesn't make sense a thousand divided by 60 16 minutes so that's 16 minutes okay that's fine so let's say it takes you only 16 minutes a day this takes you 15 minutes so 15 minutes 150 minutes yeah so it takes you two and a half hours per day versus 16 minutes a day so so that's definitely uh, a big difference but we could probably just say send less messages or whatever or we could say send more messages here right but in the end we send 10 messages here we send 100 here maybe we send more than 100 that's ridiculous we need to send more right let's say a thousand send a thousand a day that's 10 times a thousand is 10,000 which is what we said that was two and a half 2.7 hours so that's two 2.7 hours so let's just say that's what you do every day right you send a thousand messages a day right it takes only 10 seconds maybe it takes longer I don't know we'd have to do the figure it out but that gets you an, an idea so out of 10 you'd get 30 people checking your link <clears throat> you'd have 10 that are interested because we, we times 10 them right <clears throat> so out of 10 interested you get a sale so that means you get let's say we get one yeah we get one sale so we get one sale right here <clears throat> which I don't know right we can kind of look at this again that's 10 that's 10,000 messages no that's one that's all right that's what I was okay so now if we say for 10 days right it's 10,000 messages right so 10,000 whoops 10,000 for 10 days or 10 days right it's 100 messages okay over here would be 300 link clicks it'd be 100 interested and 10 sales so now certainly doesn't look <coughs> uh okay so when we compare this the thing and this is probably not actually accurate I should probably I probably think this through a little bit more you're going to if you're sending a thousand messages a day and it's it's taking you two and a half hours versus 10 messages a day 15 minutes each 10 seconds per message 150 minutes two and a half hours so out of 10 messages there will be a lot more people that would actually check your thing and maybe maybe you won't get 30 people to click your thing maybe it'll only be three right I don't know but I know for a fact that people aren't interested in looking at your stuff unless you're interested in them that's just the basics that's just kind of how it works you have to be interested in them if you're not interested in them they're not going to be interested in your stuff so maybe this is actually not third maybe it's actually three I don't know if you're doing spamming you would know <laughs> you would know right so if there's only three then we're back to one that's interested and we get one sale in every 10 so let's just say this is 0.1 sale right 0.1 sale <laughs> right so one sale one sale in 10 right and that's actually probably pretty true in terms of uh, interest so after 10 days you get one sale you get 10 you get one sale right <coughs> is that right 30 let's say 30 click it 10 are interested there you go so we're back to that so I'm kind of thinking that that's really what the numbers are if you're doing the spamming or sending a whole bunch of messages to people maybe you can tell me whether that's accurate or not I'd love to know I'd love to get your feedback on this if you've done this before if you've I've done both right it's just been a while I don't really remember I certainly know that I've sent out lots of messages to people and I that I never got any sale for I've I've done a lot of you know flyers on on mailboxes and on car windshields that kind of stuff that I never got anything from I think I remember once I put flyers out and I probably put a hundred flyers out I got maybe two calls or maybe three 
three people calling me for information right and nobody's you know joined me or signed up out of those three but that's probably part of the whole process of following up and everything else and that's the thing when you talk about when you think about how much time you're spending on just sending the message there's no there's no account there's no in here we don't account for having the conversation for those that are interested because you will have a conversation obviously if they're interested you're going to talk to them right and depending on depending on how that conversation goes they will go to the next level or not the difference is that they are reaching out to you sure there may be like hotter leads because they're they're the the minimal the amount of people that are interested and you know that kind of stuff but at the same time you're not going to get the results you want <laughs> just just learn the basics of building a building online using groups and using conversations and building rapport with people and figuring out what they're interested in learn those things have conversations that way you're going to see it's going to make a huge difference so that's it that's that's the best way to build on social media how to grow your your your, your leads how to get sales how to sell courses that's the best way to do it you gotta send messages that are relevant show interest in people and that's you're going to build a business that way it's going to be a lot less work and it's going to feel a lot more fun for you and everybody else all right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.